Hi there guys, so uh, this tutorial is about how to unlock your computer. For example, um, you have a password and you put it multiple times but you're putting the wrong password so basically it will be locked out. So uh, this tutorial is I will show you how to unlock your computer. But before that, we need to download a software. I call it Hirens Boot CD. That is the, a tool that we will use for us to be able to unlock our computer. So first thing first, we will go to Google. There. So as you can see, I've already searched Hirens Boot CD. Sorry for um, bad quality of my uh, video. And I'll just choose the fifth option or fourth option here. So it's loading. So I'm just gonna choose this one, the first one, since this is the most updated version. The Hirens Boot CD 15.1. So since I already downloaded, I'll not show you because it will take time. So I'll just show you the software that I've downloaded. Here. So basically, when you downloaded the Hirens Boot CD, it will uh, come up with this specific things. So we just need to click on the first option. This is what we will use to burn the disk. So basically, they have their own uh, software so that we can burn the ISO. So what you just need to do is click on Browse. It will actually automatically show you the Hirens Boot CD ISO. So you just need to uh, click open and just need to click on start here. See it? Alright. So I'll not burn it because I already burned it uh, minutes ago. So what we will do here is basically we will just restart our computer. But before we restart, I'm going to show you the disk that I, da the I burned here. So here. Hirens Boot CD number 3. The reason why I put number 3 there is because it's my third time burning it. I mean, the third one is the perfect or good one. So I'm just gonna put it in and uh, click restart in my computer. Here. Alright, so you will just wait until everything is booted up. So basically, when you boot up um, a CD or DVD on your computer, it depends on what BIOS your computer has. So in my case, I have Phoenix. So I'm going to show you how to uh, do it on Phoenix BIOS, okay? So first things first, we need to check the boot up settings or uh, the priority. If your computer's priority is on hard drive, we need to change it to DVD and I'm gonna show you how to do so. So I'm sorry that my computer is somewhat um, slow. So I just need to press F10 before the Windows icon pop up. So here's the main screen. So what we just need to do is to go to boot. You just need to press the uh, arrow key for that and let's go to boot device priority press enter so as you can see here my first boot device device already the cd-rom but if you want to change it for example yours is a hard drive you just need to uh, go to this first one press enter and it will give you choices whatever you want if you want a hard drive dvd-rom and in my case, I just want to see the ROM group, so I just need to press enter and go to exit or press F10 again to save and exit. Press enter to choose yes. So I'm gonna press escape now, and it will ask me to select a boot first device, so I'll just press. The third one, which is or the second one, which is the CD or DVD ROM drive. As you can see, it's gonna show you the Hirens Boot CD 15.1. So in this case, we just need to choose the Mini Windows XP, then press Enter. 
So this one, it's not really a uh, annoying like some of the software that is taking loads of time. And this one, it will not download or install anything on your computer since it will run on its um, own Windows or mini Windows XP. That's why it's uh, very con convenient to use and I really recommend this Hirens Boot CD to every person that is being locked off. And not only that, this software has plenty of things that you can do onto it. And I'll just uh, post uh, some videos um, next time when I unlock those uh, things that we can do about uh, hi with Hirens Boot CD. But uh, this time, I'll just show you how to unlock your computer, okay? So, as you can see, it's still loading. Start up. Alright, so uh, here is the mini Windows XP. So, what we will just do here is to click on this one, the HB CD menu. Double click. Alright, then it will show you this window. Just need to click on Programs tab. Then, we just need to choose Password or Keys. Then after that, we need to choose Windows Login. Okay, so when we click on Windows Login, you just need to choose this one Reset Vista XP7 User Password. So when we click on that, another window will appear, this one. So by default, um, if you're, uh, sometimes it's changing the path. So for us to be able to double check if the path is right, if this one, if this reopen button is disabled, you need to change, check the path. So uh, for us to be able to do that, you need to go to my computer and check if your C drive is, or if your ROM drive is your C. So basically, here on my uh, mini Windows XP, it did not change. So just close this one and click reopen here. When you click reopen, you just need to uh, click on the user. Alright, so Hazel, and click on change password. So here just need to put the new password that you wanted whatever it is and you just need to click OK you can also leave it blank if you want to or cancel so in my case I'll just cancel it click on exit and then now uh, I'm gonna close this one and I'm gonna reboot my computer Stuck. or you can choose restart or eject I'm just going to choose restart while I am rejecting the disk so that it will not um, boot on my high rents. Let's see. Alright, so you can see it will start Microsoft. And voila, you just need to put your password. That's it. And it will work like magic. Alright, so that's all. I hope that you enjoyed my video and I hope that you've learned something with regards to Hirens Bootsy. So, God bless us and good day.